Hello friends, welcome back. I'm planning to start a full stack development course which will cover all the latest tech stacks. I will explain you in a minute. And the course name or the application name is online course enrollment. All right. So that is what I'm going to do. Friends, you might have seen a similar full stack development video in my channel. This is the restaurant table working app. We have a wonderful architecture for this. And it's just a seven hours course that completes all of these tech stacks, right? So if you have already seen this video, probably you would have liked it. Let me know in the comment section if you really liked it or not. And I'm going to start a similar one, but but this time, all what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this application end to end on a um, you know agile basis. Like agile basis means we'll be developing this application start to end in parallel, like UI backend whatever is required for this application to complete on a you know daily basis or something will be covering like that so it's going to be a combination of all the mixtures so let's take a look at what this application is going to do the objective of this application is it's basically an online course enrollment like how you see udami or uh, any other uh, you know website which offers you for learning by like enrolling into the thing and learning those kind of things that's completely um, such a platform um, it will have the instructors who can uh, create a course like me and then viewers like you who wanted to study they can come and enroll the course and follow along the course finish their studies and get the certification done those kind of concepts right uh, the key feature of this uh, application is we will have the user management which is uh, securing the user registration authentication uh, and profile management using Azure AD b to c business to consumers because this application is kind of a business consumers are all of the students or anyone who wants to learn that's why we will use adb to c the course management like instructors like me or any instructor can actually create the course and have courses with multiple sessions videos documents everything is used in this and then it could be either an online or an offline on-demand course We'll have the enrollment done by the students. They can track their progress, get the certification done once it is done. And then payment integration also. Also, I'm going to introduce. I haven't never done this payment stuff in my videos. Like I'm going to use the PayPal or the Stripe to uh, use as a payment gateway. Um, and then the real time communication, I'm going to use SignalR. SignalR also I have not covered. I'm going to cover that like it's going to be a small chat uh, that's coming with the SignalR. Uh, users and uh, instructor can chat. So I hope you'll be curious to know how the SignalR works with the .NET Core, right? So that's, that's the interesting thing. So notification we will be using some um, send grid for the notification. As we progress, we might use some advanced uh, Azure services for uh, pushing the notification into your mobile and other those stuff. Content delivery, like we will be either it is a live session or a recorder session, which will be stored in the storage account. And then what else we have? We have some monitoring insights. We will use Azure services for that. Security, we will be using all the sensitive information in more secure way. We will use Azure Key Vault. And then this application is be going to be uh, present in Azure DevOps uh, for the code base. Of course, you will have access in your GitHub repository, but I'm going to set up the CI CD pipelines and all of those things in Azure DevOps. Okay, so this time we're going to use Azure DevOps as the source code. So follow along with me. You have you can do those things uh, in your own um, credentials and logins and then technology stack. Very important thing. Now, if you're going to use Angular 18, I'm going to start with Angular 18 standalone type of Angular, right? We, we are not going to use ng module at all or maybe ng module combined with standalone but definitely new things that you're going to learn and back in of course .NET Core 8 is the latest one so we're going to use .NET Core 8 EF8 um, and then we'll be using our local SQL database and in real time it is going to be a Azure SQL database authentication as I said Azure ADB to C storage account we are going to use for the media files and all of those things for the in-memory catch uh, we'll be utilizing for the caching logging study log application insights Notification, like I said, send grid, real time communications. We're going to use the SignalR deployment a strategy is Azure um, DevOps with Azure Web Apps, app servers that we will be using. Serverless functions we're going to use. We're going to use Azure Monitor for setting up alerts and all of uh, new features that uh, I will be introducing. Source code, like I said, Azure DevOps, not the GitHub. GitHub is 
there for you guys to take the code but i am going to use uh, azure devops as the primary thing and then not only that right so as we progress as we succeed we will use the container registration docker stuff workflow automations like logic apps which are all, all of these things are new payment like stripe or paypal all of these concepts are new i've never covered i'm going to use that opportunity in this application so benefits right what are we going to benefit with this it's scalable this application scalable secured security use its experience flexibility automation and a lot of things in this application but what are you going to get benefited let's say you are uh, good at uh, ui or you're good at backend but you like to learn and make yourself as full stack developer right this is the right course for you guys like i'm literally going to start very basics very you know little prerequisites is required for this course to to start with um but if you know some basics of html and javascript and you know some basics of programming in c sharp that's more than enough to start with i'll be using all of this latest tech stacks i'll be using all of these latest tech stacks and uh, building end to end application in a real time scenario right as if that if this project was there in your company how people will do in agile basis right so like parallel development ui backend setting up the real time environment uh, bringing up one by one features into the application that's what i'm going to do so do not skip any video start and watch and code along with me every single video trust me at the end of this course which will be taking at least a month but i will be very consistent in giving you uh, recordings but if you follow along with me i'm telling you at the end of the day at the end of this course you'll be like you can climb yourself as full stack development um, you can climb yourself as full stack developer and you can uh, add a very good weightage in your profile in your resume that will be very helpful for your uh, you know job and career so not only that last but not least in case if you guys feel that you wanted to talk to me live let's let's arrange some live sessions uh, where you can ask any questions or maybe a weekly ones live let's go so every week that we teach something you can have you can get ready with your questions ask me all of those questions in the live video that we go probably a week or two weeks once we can do that that will help you guys to uh, clarify your questions again if not you're always there to uh, comment on the comment section and ask me more questions so feel free and uh, i hope you are very excited and let me know in the comment section what you feel about this application and the the idea of becoming a full stack developer right all right guys so i will see you in the very first video of database design for this application in the next video until then signing off karthik thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding!